Hi, good morning swimming. I've been a pilot for over 25 years. I think one of the things that I really believe in is just because you can throw on the wheel doesn't make you a pilot. And I've seen a lot of pilots come and go and know the thousands of pilots around the world. There are some really good pilots and there's some really poor pilots. But the most important aspect is that you have fun with the clay and the medium that you're using. And for me, it's about love for the clay. Hi, I'm Marty. Back again, we're throwing another wedding ball. Again, getting the clay somewhat round. Splashing it down. It's one thing about being outside. The clay can go everywhere and you don't worry about it. So we we'll start the, the wheel. Again, it goes anti-clockwise. One thing with porcelain is that it dries very quickly. So being outside, you need to lubricate the clay that much more. I love porcelain, it's so nice. There we go. Yeah. And that's centered, again close your eyes. Place the thumb inside, all the way down. So again, I'm just going to curl my thumb underneath. some water to really push down on the base so there's no bubbles. So we can make it nice and tight at the bottom. Take that little piece out, throw it away. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is draw the, the piece up. Gently take the hands away. And then this wonderful tool that I like to use so much. I'll take off some of the clay at the bottom there. Just throw it away. And put it on an angle. And just draw it up a little bit more. It also helps in that it makes the piece that much more cylindrical. So. Now we're going to widen it out. This normally when I start is this in the middle, and I'll bring the wooden tool up to the top. And keeping the wooden tool at an angle. This is going to be slightly smaller than the other top that I made before. This is less clay. Again, using the V here, just slow the wheel down just a bit. Yeah. And just widen that out that much more. You can do this with your hands or a sponge, but I've had more success with this tool. And I 
this. I like it. it works with me. There we go. Now I'm going to widen it out even more. Let's use some, some water. It really dries out in this sun. I'm not complaining, but it really plays havoc sometimes with the porcelain. Getting that nice bowl inside shape, which is ideal. I'm just going to smooth that out. And then this base here, I'm just going to hold my right hand just to push down a little bit more so I can get that nice bowl shape that I want. Draw it up slowly up to the top. Just use the sponge to take out that excess water. So I'm just going to take the wooden tool again and just trim it down. Getting a good focus now of what the bowl is going to look like. Just lift the tool a little bit, just because this clay really is dry. It's interesting. It's a lot drier than the stone that I'm used to with the earthenware that I have. And as I said before, I much prefer the porcelain for finished effects, especially with glazes. As you'll see on the finished product, and we'll have these done. I'll show you that aspect in the next video. take a tool like this, turn it upside down and just, just take off the excess and trim it away. I'm going to take a little bit more from the inside just to give it more shape for the outside. There we go. There we go. That's much better. Nice effect. It's got a little bit wonky at the top, so I'll fix that now. Just to smooth that up. Say that there should be no such thing as perfection. You can always make it better. I'm a staunch believer in that. Pottery is about artistic expression. And sometimes there will be a little wobble in it. Suddenly it's not perfectly round 100%. In my opinion, that's what it's about. But that shows you it's not made in a foreign country.